Uh, what are you doing with that briefcase, fella? I'm just going about my business. Why? NYPD. Y you a cop? That's right, Jasper. I'm a plain clothesman. Now, what are you up to? Nothing. Just running an errand. Uh, for who? For Mr. Cornelius Vanderbilt. That's who. That's an alias, you know. Well, that's funny. You don't talk with an accent. <laughs> How long have you been working for Mr. Vanderbilt? Ever since I got into town a few weeks back. Uh-huh. I no sooner stepped off the bus. Yeah? He, he ups to me and says, Hey, sucker, how'd you like to make a quick hundred dollars? <laughs> and I says, New York, New York, you're my kind of town. <laughs> Well, what'd you have to do for the hundred dollars? Hardly nothing. Just carry a briefcase over to Harlem. <laughs> Carry it to who? I never did catch his name, and I don't guess he got mine either. He just kept calling me Honky. <laughs> what kind of guy is Cornelius Vanderbilt? He's good people. He's always talking about where he used to live in the big house, and boy, that must <laughs> that must have been something because the place he's got now has got forty rooms. <laughs> Sounds like quite a guy. Oh, I'd take you down to meet him, but right now he's taking one of his friends for a ride. <laughs> Yeah, he stays pretty busy, does he? Oh, you bet. He's into near about everything, like building. Building? Always putting out contracts for folks. <laughs> oh, he is, huh? Building, fixing, building, fixing. Fixing? Oh, yeah, he's got a junk man that needs fixing every day. <laughs> Junk man? Yeah, Mr. Vanderbilt calls him a junkie. <laughs> he's got a sense of humor that won't quit. <laughs> Have you ever noticed if he's armed? Mr. Vanderbilt? Yeah. Sure he's armed. He's leg. <laughs> he's normal. Except for that scar on his face and the weird gifts he buys for his friends. Weird gift? What weird gifts? Oh, you know, like one-way tickets and concrete shoes, stuff like that. <laughs> What do you do most for Mr. Vanderbilt? Oh, you get a kick out of this. How's that? <laughs> Mostly I deliver Japanese food. Japanese food? Yeah, it's called kilos. <laughs> It don't sound like much, but there must be something to it, because it costs like everything. <laughs> yeah, you deliver a lot of it, huh? Oh, kilo here, two kilos there. I'm surprised you ain't heard of it. It's catching on real big. <laughs> Does he have anything else going? Yeah, there's his janitor service. His janitor service? Yeah, he's got a couple hundred of these beautiful girls that go to hotel rooms and clean up. <laughs> Beautiful girls, you say? Yeah, I don't know how them hotels can afford it. Them girls charge $100 an hour. <laughs> and some of them sniff Pepsi Cola. You mean Coke? Yeah, Coca Cola. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got some root beer up my nose once, but that was an accident. <laughs> All right, let me look inside this briefcase. Sure, have a look. Uh huh. All right, you're under arrest. For what? Delivering Japanese food without a license. Where are you taking me? To the big house. Oh, dang. New York, New York, you're my kind of town. <laughs>